Welcome to Reread. Time to talk about droids, comp book issues five through eight. Now, this one's written by Stranad, I think, uh, not Ryder Winham. And you can tell the story is a little bit different. The artwork is different because they got a new uh, artist, too. I don't mind either of those things. But this is the series that when I did my first review on it, it was a brand new review for me because I totally didn't know I had these. I didn't have them. I thought I had all the droids comp books collected in. Uh, the old trade paperbacks, but there was no trade paperback to collect these last four issues of droids. And when I read about that, I think when the droids omnibus came out, no, I it was what whenever it was, it was very late. It was when I was doing these reviews that I discovered I'd never read issues five through eight. So that was a brand new uh, EU for me for the first time. And rereading it again, I remembered a lot about it. It it picks up where writers leaves off at the end. The droids are about to hop onto a Ithorian herd ship. And so that's where they begin their adventure on a herd ship, and their new master is an Athorian who runs the ship. And there are a bunch of these people walking around, these pilgrims called Smileys. Supposedly a long time ago, a scientist created a drug by accident that when you taste it or drink it or whatever, it makes you happy for life. And you're happy and carefree, but they're kind of, you know, they're dangerous because they can do dangerous things and they're not scared. They're just always happy. So you got to watch out for them. So the Athorian basically keeps them on the herd ship because he feels bad for them. And he's just keeping them, you know, uh, safe from anyone who would, or, or, or from themselves, because they can cause danger to themselves. Droids can also get the smiley vi virus or something, even though that's removable. Uh, and it just makes droids want to protect and save these smileys. And I guess that was, I don't really mention this, but I guess it was created by the Athorian and downloaded into a few droids to make sure if, you know, if they escape the ship, which one does and almost dies until the droid saves him. And uh, there, there is, a, there is a, a West Wing on the Athorian herd ship and uh, that the droids may not enter. You know, no one enters this except for the, their master, Athorian. So you don't know what's behind door number three this whole time, but you will find out later on. And, and number six, they find out uh, that, the well, these pirates had captured one of the smileys. It's the main one that we keep seeing with long blonde hair. 3PO and R2 discover that is actually the scientist who discovered the drug. He was the first one to taste it. He made a meat soup and put that in there, not to trick anyone, but to give as a present to his Ithorian friend. The Ithorian goes, I don't eat meat. We're vegetarians. He goes, oh, I'm sorry. So he ate it, and the first bite he went, yee, and he was all smiley. I, this is kind of weird, but I, okay, it's droids. And R2 is infected in the virus now, so that this smiley has been kidnapped. R2 really wants to save him from the kidnappers. In issue number seven, they cure R2, rescue the smiley, and the dictator, the dictator for life, or the dictator for now, uh, how this there's a insurrection going on that the droids join that overthrow the dictator. They don't kill him, they overthrow him, he runs away, and every and you know, they rescue the smiley, everyone's safe, everyone's happy. And then at the end, they find you find out what's in that room. R2, D2, and C3PO find out what's in the room. It is a bunch of that happy herb. It's called, I can't remember what it's called, Sal Salvaton or whatever, Salvation or whatever. And it's supposed to be illegal. It's supposed to be gone. You know, It's supposed to be burned to a crisp. There are no supposed to be any more uh, herbs like that ever in the galaxy. However, there's a big stock of all these trees and plants inside the herd ship. Why is that? When the final issue, issue number eight, we find out why, that Athorian isn't a nice guy. What he's going to do is he's uh, feeding it to, he finds the best way to administer it is feed it to animals. And so these nasty meat eaters will eat the meat and they, they'll be peaceful and they'll be easier to control. And everyone will be peaceful and that's what all he wants. And he doesn't mind he's manipulating things and he's a little evil when he's doing it. So an evil vegan, something we will never ever see in any comic book these days, especially out of Star Wars. And of course, it, it turns out that there's, a, for some reason, the smiley scientist with the long white hair, he has springs, like little springs, like iron springs taped to his shoes this whole time. And he's bouncing around with a big smile on his face, the herd ship. Well, for some reason, he grabs the blowtorch from someone and hops into the uh, you know the bay with all the herbs and he's smiling but he's got a little tear 
because he's going to sacrifice himself and blow, maybe it was a bomb, and blows up and incinerates the entire garden so that the herb is literally extinct and no one can get it anymore. And they're thinking, did he do it on purpose? No, he was just a smiler with no cares. And of course, we, we, the reader, saw the tear in his eyes. He was smiling because he knew what he was doing. He knew how dangerous his drug was that was completely irreversible. It made me think, you know, now that I've read, re, now that I'm rereading Star Wars, wouldn't they have gone to Endor, gotten some tears from Mount Sorrow? Would that have cured it? It cures the loony bird disease. See, this is what happens when you start really digging down deep into Star Wars. There's no way the Authorian or anyone would know about that, you know, the, the mountains, mountain sorrows, Mount Sorrow's tears. But I kept going back to, well, hmm, when Tebow got bitten by the loony bird, that was his uh, it was remedy. I wonder if this would remedy the smiley disease. Why would I think like that? <laughs> it's kind of scary I'm thinking like that now. But anyway, uh, overall, it's not that. I remember the first time I read it, I was like, that was weird. And this time I'm like, oh yeah, you know what? The Droids comic book series is not to be taken seriously. Not to be taken seriously because the droids are silly. So rereading it again, it's not a bad story. It's actually pretty good. A nice twist that I had forgotten about. Even though I only read it like a few years ago, I'd already forgotten about the ending. So it's worth it. I'm sure it's collected in this omnibus here. Um, but I had to get the individual issues for that, and they didn't cost that much either. So I, I think this is pretty easy to get all around. All right, folks, that's it for now. See you next time.